Hey guys, Gimboy3D on the hero once again, back in Beam. And two things, first of all, the next community event will be going up on April 20th. Yep, had to choose the funny date for April, and it's going to be a pretty interesting one. If you didn't uh, get the chance to see or join, it's 1,050 horsepower limit at a poverty show. So, who's going to win? What kind of shenanigans take place? Only one way to find out, tune in on the 20th. And we're going to just go ahead here with regular black magic as a baseline run because we're going to be doing a few interesting things. And I am running pretty low rear suspension. I don't know why that would be. So I'll see if that'll fix it. And the last big project I was working on, and that is the prize for getting top 10 overall in uh, the community event, is a new suspension package. And that is the quad cantilevers, the old Mikey Vodder style. used on trucks like Iron Warrior and old uh, trucks like that. It's so well made that teams all over the world today use it all the time. In fact, that's not true at all because nobody uses it because I guess it wasn't good at all. But it's interesting, so I thought, why not try to put it in-game? So let's take a look at it here. Now, previously I showed this off on CRD Suspension. But I have gone ahead and done something cool here. We take a look at the shock package options on C suspension on CRD. We have a new option for Vado style cantilevers front and rear on CRC suspension on CRD. It's a bit of a mouthful to say, but trust me, it's well worth it because it does add a whole new dynamic for this kind of suspension. Take a look at that. That's how cantilevers work. They're on a big lever action, so you can get more suspension travel without needing much taller suspension. And on the CRC axle, because the uh, shock mounts are so far out, we get a really high effective camber for the front and rear suspension. So we should be able to take some off-kilter hits and actually survive more easily than standard suspension. Now, the big question here is how does it feel? It feels different. It feels a little bit more loosely connected because of course it's going through uh, more moving parts than just connecting to the shock towers. One thing that uh, cantilever suspension is really good for it is uh, doing like wheelie launches. I don't know if we'll be able to do it here, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, look at that. We were able to pull up the front tire with a little effort. And one thing that's important for cantilever suspension, because you have so much travel, uh, you actually want to remove your limit straps so that you can get the full extended travel. So you can get more advantage from it. So let's see how that will affect if we take off our limit straps here. You can see that the shocks are able to go fully down once the limit straps are removed, they may have been able to do that before because I was just running such a low ride height before. But if I go over to here, set our ride height all the way up front and rear, and now that should be high enough suspension travel rate to get us all the way high up.
There we go. A bit taller up now. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Now we are able to fully extend the front cantilever just by accelerating. Oh yeah, like this. <laughs> it's pretty easy to do wheelie launchers now that we're higher up off the ground. It's certainly a different handling truck than before. I won't uh, make a my default setup per se, but uh, for specific racing events, straight line maybe, where you want the wide axles of CRC suspension, but want the hard launch that cantilevers can get you on other chassis or in like blaze pack, whatever, then this is a good combination of all of those features. There's one more thing to show. If we go over to our suspension, go to our shock package, and we have shocks here, we have ourselves a new shock option that I didn't show up before because I just made them. Let's have a quick look at this. This is something I'm still working on, but take a look. It is dual coilover shocks on every single cantilever. Certainly is a different look. This is available on regular CRD suspension uh, riders cantilevers as well, not just on CRD suspension. Now these are pretty interesting. They are so springy. Look at that. That little bit of rebound from that tiny jump. Boing. These are very springy. These give you a ton of travel. I think even more travel than the nitrogens. And the launch is insane. If you have like looser suspension or not a stiff suspension, you can easily get this to power wheelie everywhere. It's quite insane. Now the reason why I'm still working on this is because it is quite fragile. Uh, if we notice here, that small landing, uh, the front is still fully compressed and it's not supposed to be. And the fronts also do seem to be uh, a lot more happy to just fall apart and break. As for why that is, I don't know. I tried uh, giving it more travel and that seemed to have not helped my situation here. The rears seem to be performing fine. They don't get stuck or uh, invert or break as easy. It's only the fronts. But I'll continue to work on this to have it be ready for the Community Event 12 uh, Top 10 prize winners. Because as I said, this is the prize for winning. Yeah, look at that. We did a bit of a nose bounce, but we did lose the front left shock. So that's not as good. But I did want to show that I was working on something pretty cool. And if it was fragile, whatever, it still looks cool. It'll be good for the video. I'm not sure what trucks in real life ran cantilevers with coilovers. I'm not sure if they would have been uh, rear mounted like here or the rear suspension coils would have been connected to like the back of the cab, like standard. But you know, it's still a really cool thing and that nobody else has tried to do before in Beam, so why not? Yeah, the slow roll managed to break the front right shock.
Uh, if I go back to the front shock options and put back on the uh, front nitrogen, but keep the rear coilovers, it should get us a strong, yet still very different driving experience. In the first version I did of this, uh, the quad coilover package here, uh, it made every ramp feel like a trampoline because you would just spring off of every one and get like an extra 10 feet of air. It was insane. I loved it. Whether or not that's realistic or not, I'll have to maybe investigate or maybe not and just leave it because it's fun. But still. Oh yeah, that's one more thing. The nitrogen shocks utilize the stock coloring of CRD four links and the coilover uh, cantilevers have the coloring of the CRC suspension four links. So if you made uh, paint with colored CRC parts, they'll show up on the coilovers. If you made a paint with colored CRD parts, they'll show up on the nitrogens. And then, of course, you get the weird mix like this, where it's got one of each. I think that's going to about do it for today's video. You all enjoyed... Uh this new suspension package and are excited for the next community event you can leave a like give it a comment share and of course don't forget to subscribe as well and of course let me know any more cool ideas you have for this type of suspension package that's it for now i'll see you all in the future and of course april 20th that's a saturday i believe better be there for the next community event it'll be fun i'll see you all in the future. Goodbye, everybody.